Welcome back, Colts, to your weekly giddy up. Today we are in a different location. We are at the Cola 8 News Station, and we'd like to thank Cola 8 News as well as Noble Bond for allowing us to be here today. Live from Cola 8, it's your weekly Wooster giddy up. So, what you saw in that intro video, the Giddy Up crew was uh, given the chance to go to Cola 8 News Studio. We learned a bit about anchoring, broadcasting, editing, journalism, a lot, we, a lot media of coverage, yeah, media, news, writing articles for just throwing news out news stations. words out there, broadcasting, journalism, all that. So, if you want to take part in cool little field trips like that, little extracurricular things. Make sure you sign up for next year's class. Join public relations. Great class. Great opportunities are open if you take this class. Thank you to Call Away for that. Special shout out to Noble Bond. So this past May 4th was the Joy Prom, which is a prom for CLS students. We have a special little Joy Prom promposal that we want to share with you. I think you'll like it. Check it out. So last week we gave you a uh, fake Avengers Endgame. I didn't think it was fake. Well, we hadn't seen it yet. I'd seen it. But we did get the chance to see it when it came out, when it premiered. So we thought it was very good. We thought it was very, I thought it was very like fitting climax. I thought it was the perfect ending to the past 11 years and 22 movies. They got, I thought they got like everything right. Yes. They didn't take any like missteps or anything like that. Even Thanos. They find a way to make him still appealing as a villain, even though we already saw him in Infinity War. As an almost sympathetic character, too. Yeah, his character does take a, a, a very interesting turn, to say the least. So, yeah. <clears throat> Good job, Marvel. Job. We love Marvel. It's going to be interesting to see uh, yeah. where the next few movies go from, because they're basically starting from scratch again. Yeah. It's like we're traveling back to the year 2008. Yeah, especially with Spider-Man, new Spider-Man Far From Home. The next installment in the Marvel Universe comes out this July, so it'll be interesting how to see how it deals with the uh, aftermath events. of Endgame. Yeah, All the right. consequences. So because there are consequences. There, there are. Yeah, no spoilers, but see it. <laughs> I thought you were gonna give a spoiler right now. No spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> that same week, we both also saw Wooster's latest production, The Fox on the Fairway. So I thought it was pretty funny, a really good, entertaining show. It's a small cast, small cast. Yeah, small cast. Uh, I thought breakout role, Maxwell Max Johnson. Johnson. Max Johnson. That was amazing. Yeah, for I don't think he's I don't think he's ever done theater. I believe before. this is his first yeah. production yeah. with Wooster. So and he nailed his role. Yeah, so amazing role. Good job, Max. And good job to all the Wooster players yes. who participated. Yes. Tech totally. crew, we appreciate you. Yeah, it was a good set. Like good set design. I thought it was very visually appealing. Appealing. So, spring sports are wrapping up. Those seasons are ending. A few of our spring sports had their senior nights this past week. So, good luck. Well, not good luck, but... <laughs> congratulations. Congratulations to all those seniors putting in that work over these four years. You will be missed. It all paid off. Good job to you. This past week, we also had some important events for the ROTC program. Last Friday, we had awards night, which is the final event of the year where we... Congratulate mostly our, our Fargo and seniors, but also any other students that have been remarkable in the past few years. So congratulations to all our ROTC cadets and especially to our new battalion commander and our command sergeant majors, whose names will be posted right here. The following Saturday, we also had the ROTC Cadet Olympics, which is an event where other schools in the district compete for the first place trophy 
for the Cadet Olympics, and it's a great event. A lot of our students participate, and at the time of this recording, we don't know who won, but we're hoping we took first. If not, I'm sorry, better luck next year. We still did well. Probably second, at least third place. Maybe fourth. Nah, maybe third. Hopefully. We took hopefully second place the past two years, and then last year we won first place. Yeah, hopefully first, yeah. you know, trending upwards. <laughs> Do you like to dance? Are you a dancer? Does dancing interest you? Do you want to learn how to dance? Well, if so... We've got a club for you. Yeah, dance club. So it's coming out Wednesday, so tomorrow, Thursday, May the 9th, go to C9 at lunch if you want to discuss next year's dance club and uh, the future of dance, which is very... Exciting. Important and exciting. So if you saw last week's episode and you liked that little... Uh, JAG, Jobs for America's Graduates, highlight that happened, that was in that episode. It was in that episode. Yes. Then, you'll be happy to know that the Giddy Up is now an award-winning program. Shout out to Biani Ortiz for winning the social media challenge for JAG for that video. Good job to her. Check out this week's cult highlight. Worcester, since 1962, a place of acceptance that feels like home too, with unity, with diversity, and lots of friendships too, a place to call home when motivation is needed most. The teachers here you can trust. We will fight for the scarlet and white. And we'll go far because we are the C O L T S, the Wooster Colts. All right, great highlight on the school as a whole. It's a fantastic school. Let's take it over. I love Wooster. I do too. I yeah. do too. Let's take it over to our club announcements. Talk about some clubs for in the future. Clubs are important. Clubs, activities, athletics are always important to school. It's the hook that brings kids back to school every day. Clubs at Wooster, uh, we have something for everyone. Everyone. We have all types of clubs here. And if you want to start a club, all you have to do is get a club advisor, find a place to have your meetings, come up with a, um, a set of rules, and you can have any club that you want. And I think clubs are important because it gives the kids a place to go, to meet, to hang out with people, to have the same interests that they do. I just like to see kids get excited about coming to school. And... Uh, it's not always the English math science class that brings a kid to school every day. It's the fact that you might get to hang out at lunch with people in your club, your activities, uh, things that, that you have in common. And that's why sometimes in the morning, you look forward to coming to school uh, because you know you're gonna get a chance to hang out with people that like the same things that you do. And then in turn, you go to the English class, the math class, and the science class, and you wait for that time when you get to be with your club, your advisor, your activity, the things that you truly, truly love. I'm not sure so much different than other schools. I, I think a lot of schools try to have clubs. I think we bend over backwards to allow kids to have whatever type of club that they want to have. There's never been really a no to students that come to us and say, um, I want to start this club. Uh, I, I don't think we've ever said no here at Wooster High School. Uh, we might say why sometimes, but we say, can you get an advisor? Can you find a place to meet? Uh, is there enough kids to start the club? Tell us why you want to have this club. Is the club going to do good things for you and your friends and for the school? And other than that, we just say yes. How come kids start clubs? Because they find an interest in things and they don't know what else to do or where to turn or what, you know, what to do. So they look for... Uh, people with common interests, whether it be if you wanted to start a chess club or we've got a, 
a club that meets down in the uh, career center every day, the Switch Club that plays games. So they found an advisor. Uh, they came up with a, a, uh, a set of rules for their clubs. They have a, a president of their club and they meet and they play their games and they have a good time. But it doesn't matter what your club is. If you want to start a club at Wooster, you can start a club. There's nothing that I would like to see more of. It's To me, it's all student generated. So if you find something that excites you, find an advisor, find a classroom, and you can have a club. Bryson Parco and his team have put together another amazing sports report covering all the sports at Wooster. I want you to check it out. Top 10. All right. I'm Bryson Parco and here's your sports report. First off, congratulations to track athletes like myself, Corgan Ill, and McKenna Miller for making it to regionals, and swim athletes, Brian Vega, and uh, who else? Uh, Wyatt Shaw, Buddy. Females? Paulus, I don't know, Paulus Steig, um, Emily Isom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Thanks, man. <laughs> Congratulations to them for making it to regionals. Hopefully they make state. Now we have a list of the top senior varsity athletes of this year for each sport, male and female. Hi, my name is Jaime Rodriguez and I am here for soccer. I'm Joanna Antello and I play soccer. Hi, I'm Ismael Valero and I play tennis. I'm KJ Chavez and I play tennis. Hi, my name is Josh and I play football. Addison Shower, volleyball. I'm Buddy and I run cross country. Hi, my name is Ben Zalee Stewart and I play basketball. I'm Mackenzie Barenka and I play basketball. Hi, I'm Kira Hollerbach and I do ski team. Hi, my name is McKenna Miller and I run track. My name is Orlando Crespo and I do track and field. I'm Anthony Lawrence and I play baseball. I'm Mayaka Matilda and I play softball. White Shaw, Wooster Swim Team. Hi, I'm T. Staley and I swim. I'm Parker Walton and I'm better than Ben at golf. I'm Parker Walton and I golf. Hi, my name is Regina Manson and I cheer. Go Colts! Now we got an interview with my personal friend, Cletus Gilbert, with Wooster Sports this year. So Cletus, how do you think Wooster did in sports overall this year? Well Bryson, I think the, uh, the athletes did really great this year and it was really good. I loved enjoying it. I loved watching it. Also, you know, now that we're in 4A, I really appreciate that. You know, it was really great to watch. Why does sports interest you, Cletus? Sports interests me because, you know, I've always played sports my entire life. I just love it. It's just a great thing to do. Love watching it too. So why do you and other spectators come to the games? I love coming to the games to watch everybody play, you know, watch everybody do their best. I just love watching them. What do you hope to see next year in sports? Next year, I'm hoping, you know, we do a little better in all the other sports, but this year was great. Hopefully next year will be so much better. I feel like we can make it a state in almost all the sports. That's your sports report. Back to Odie and Trevor. All right, with that being said, let's take it back to the Cola Weight News Station. All right, we'd like to thank you for tuning in this week for your weekly giddy up. May all your favorite bands stay together. We'll see you next week. And be sure to watch Cola Weight News Monday through Friday at 5, 6.30 and 11 o'clock. Giddy up! See you next time, Colts.